Hey y'all, so today we're gonna be doing a blowout. It is not a bone straight blowout and that's one thing I want to stress why you guys are doing this. So have it where it's still has some texture to it. You don't want it to be bone straight at all. Let's go ahead and jump into the video. Okay, I am now going in with a leave-in conditioner spray. You want to always use a lightweight, more like a water mist type of product when you are putting on a conditioning product before a blowout. Then you want to go in with a heat protectant. This is BioSilk. The idea is to get it on the inside of the hair, not just the outside part of the hair. So go into the hair and then rub it on the outside and the ends. Then I'm going through and I'm going to section the hair and brush that product through. It's really important to brush the product through and smooth the hair before you're getting ready to do a blowout because that's how you get a very smooth blowout if you are actually detangling and smoothing their hair ahead of time. I do the band two because that keeps a lot more of the moisture into the hair and it doesn't dry out before I get to that section. In some cases, you will have see some people here that do dry a whole lot faster. You still want to go through and do a band two or something that you can do that keeps the moisture in there, but mist it again before you get started. So that way their hair is actually wet because if the hair is wet, damp to wet, it will actually make the hair elongate and stretch out. Then you will be able to actually get a smoother, cleaner blowout without so much hassle. If you've ever blow dried your hair and you're like, oh, this part looked good, but then by the time you got to the top, it looked dry and bogus, that's why. All right, so now we're gonna go through and I'm gonna show you this way using the brush. So you're gonna go through, brush the hair out and get it smooth. This is a tension blowout. So we are gonna put tension to the hair with the brush on this one and then blow it out. So grab the hair where it's at Oh, my bad, this one is gonna be without the brush. The next one will be with the brush. So hold as if it's a ponytail and then slowly smooth your hand down as you are going down the shaft of the hair and blow dry all around the outside of the hair. The idea is to get it pretty much almost dry before you let the hair go. If you let the hair go and it's still too damp, it will revert back and bounce back on you. So keep it pulled taut as you are blow drying and get down at least 70% dry. Once you do that, then you can let go and then the hair will just stay blown out. You'll see once I let this one go and I drop it, it's already stretched out, see? Now we gotta do is the ends and make sure that intersection of the hair is actually dry on the inside. When you guys are using the brush, if you're using a paddle brush or a Denman, when you take the brush, you fold it down like that and you have the hair rub against the harder back end of the brush, that straightens it. And it's kind of like when you guys flat iron with the comb attachment. You guys can use the regular comb attachment with the blow dryer. I personally don't like it, um, but they don't have to be super straight. So her entire blowout took me about 20 minutes to do. And this is her first section. This next one I'm gonna show you with the brush. I will also be doing this on the mannequin towards the end where I am talking about the hand motion so that way you guys can really see how I'm using the brush to get under there. Okay, now this one I'm gonna go through and show you guys with the brush because I thought I was gonna be doing it the first one, but had it wrong. So. Take your brush, but when you do it, you want to actually take it and smooth where you want it to smooth at first, where you're gonna be concentrating your blow dryer. See how it took the brush at the top and then blow dry it on the top. Take the brush to the side and then blow dry on the side. Same thing to underneath. And you wanna do it on that side because that's the side again that is on the back of the brush. So it's smoothing it out as if you're flat ironing it. That's gonna give you that smooth look without it being bone straight and still having some texture for your grip while you're braiding. I'm gonna go ahead and let this finish up and speed up and then I'll show you guys a tip for the front of the head too. Oh, never sandwich your blow dryer with your brush. It's enough heat that's coming out of there. This is on high and you see how it's not smoking and all of that. A lot of people will have it where it is smoking Sometimes it will also do that as well if you're heat protected, if you have too much on there. 
So sometimes it can be either or. So you really don't be knowing when you're seeing someone's blow dryer blow all this smoke. Usually, I mean, it doesn't do too much of anything to anyone's hair. It's just, it's better where you don't have all the fumes in the air and all the smoke in the air. You just don't keep it as close. That will help cut out any of that. You just wanna make sure you keep it there, but not sandwiching it in between. Okay, now for your front. Most people, by this time, the front has already started drying out. So I go through and mist again on the front edges of the hair. This is going to relax the hair where it's not so stuck to her scalp. It will relax more. If you take your hand as if you're about to smooth down a ponytail and pull it straight with the blow dryer, it will make all of her front hairs that are usually shorter, it will stretch those out and make them straight. That way, if you're getting ready to braid, you don't have to worry about catching any tiny pieces of hair that's ball back or slapping so much jam on it and it's reverting just get it with your blowout so that way you're putting less work on yourself and you're not having to use too much product on their hair okay so now this is the end it should look like this it shouldn't be super bone straight like she just got a flat iron this is what it should look like i'm gonna show you how to double check your work as well to make sure you have a perfect blowout at the end Okay, she looking a little bogus, but I'm about to fix her up. And <laughs> I just wanted to show you guys what her hair is looking like before we get started. So yeah, she is a curly mannequin, but it is not the, mm, the real cute curly. She got, I don't know, you finna see. All right, let me go ahead and wash her up and then I'll bring her back. All right, so now you can see, it's like she has a cute texture, but it's not like super, super curly. But so for the brush, you want to go under it and kind of like cuff the brush under, like how I did there, where it smooths all of the bottom. And then work that blow dryer going all the round each side. And just keep on going down little by little. You don't really want to ever leave a blow dryer where it's like focused on one area. That's how people get heat damage as well you don't want to have the blow dryer you don't want to have the blow dryer angled towards the client because it will burn them as well so always try to keep your blow dryer where it is kind of angled backwards and tilted back towards you so that way you're not burning the client with the blow dryer and you just concentrate the nozzle going down I like showing these on a mannequin as well. So that way you guys aren't afraid to use your mannequins. Using your mannequin can be very helpful on trying to find your technique, trying to get used to using the brush and the blow dryer, getting used to just smoothing the hair going down, getting a blowout. This is good even with her hair not being that great. So you saw how great the other one turned out. And then if your mannequin looks like this, the mannequin just, you know, she didn't been through them some things. So it's still a good blowout. So don't be so hard on yourself where you think you don't get it right. Mannequins just look different. That's all. Your sections will also be different. You can have on one client where it is six sections, another client where it is eight or 10. Always use good judgment and never do big pieces to try to get done fast because your middle will not drop. Okay, let's go over how do you know if you did your blowout right. If you did your blowout right, you can just comb through with a wide tube comb as easily as this. As well, you can go through with the comb that you are about to braid with your rat tail comb and take it from the root to the tip and be able to comb all the way through without getting caught. If you can do that, your blowout is good enough to braid. Just check, see how it combs through and go ahead and get it going. Don't leave your client's hair out like this, no matter what style you're pretty much doing. That way their hair doesn't revert back and you don't ruin what you just did and have to put more heat on it later. So just go through and pin that client's hair up. That way it is out your way and it is not reverting back while you are working on another section. And that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed these tips today. If you have any questions, do leave them in the comments below and I'll be sure to answer them. See you guys in the next video.